Hi everyone and welcome for another AP Therapy video. This time we'll be talking, well you know, war is around, there's war in Ukraine, uh, Russia is invading Ukraine, war is happening there. I won't tell you about all those details, some other people do that so much better. But that being said, let's talk about what the bees have to show us, what type of model, how we can inspire our own reactions towards war and crisis situations um, when we look at bees and when we think about AP therapy, so bee products for health, or bee products that sustain life, sustain our health. Um, how can we look at that point of view? So let's jump right into it. I'll give you three different cases where bees survived extreme cases, extreme conditions. The first one of those is Hiroshima bomb, nuclear bomb. Uh, most people know that Jinko below bad trees survived that bomb. Well, bees too. There are some beehives that survived the bombing, nuclear radi radiations, and this is just amazing how bees did survive those conditions. Of course, for a while uh, around them, there haven't been many flowers uh, because of those radiation, because of the shock of the bomb and the destruction that happened. That being said, the bees keep food in their hives so they can withstand long periods of time without any intake of food in the hive. But the bees themselves will eat from the beehive because the honey is stored in there. Same goes for pollen. They store the pollen as well. They ferment it a bit. It creates what we call bee bread. And that bee bread is fermented pollen in the hive. So they have pollen. Again, they still have pollen. So they can still feed their babies and so on. So yeah, they have food, but not only that, they also collect propolis. So they actually cover all the walls um, of the beehive and every part of the beehive with propolis, specifically the entrance, if need be, they'll actually stick propolis in there to reduce the entrance, specifically if there's radiation around and bombing, I'm sure they will do that really efficiently. So they collect the propolis and propolis do something really special. Yes, it seals everything and it keeps everything together all right, but it does way more than that. Its active ingredients in propolis will actually fight viruses, mold and all this in the beehive. So that's one thing, right? It reduces entrances, it seals cracks, so there's no air. They can control the airflow really well in the beehive by sealing any cracks that could occur. But not only that, it kills bacteria, viruses, and so on. Okay, so two things. And there's a third layer of action of those active ingredients of propolis, which is the bees inhale that propolis. They inhale it, and that actually bring homeostasis to many of the health systems in the body circulatory system, um, nervous system, many different functions of the body will be brought to homeostasis by propolis and its active components. So the bees breathe it, they're surrounded with propolis all around the beehive, and it keeps them in a really healthy state, even though if there's really intense and harsh stress upon them. That's for the nuclear bombing. Now let's have a look at another case in Canary, Canary Islands in uh, La Palma volcano that erupted for about a month in 2021, if I'm correct. And, um, and so there, there were six beehives really close by the volcano. They've been totally covered by um, volcano ash, by volcanic ashes. So totally covered by it. Three of them, you cannot even see a piece of the beehive totally buried under those volcano ashes, volcanic ashes. And three of them, we could see a little bit of the beehive, but really it was buried by it. And um, five of those six beehives survived for 50 days. They've been covered by volcanic ashes for 50 days. So that's very little air circulation huge stress upon them, huge stress upon them. Seriously, they have to, to adapt to those really hard conditions. We know 
in Ukraine right now, there's people, you know, that's, you know, they stay on in their root center, you know, under the earth and they, they, they stay there to be protected. And um, so those stressful conditions are really difficult, difficult. And I'm not only talking about, you know, what is happening there when we're confined, but I'm just saying as a general point of view on really stressful situation, propolis will help to bring homeostasis, to bring equilibrium, to bring balance in all our functions of the body. Maybe not everything, maybe not perfectly, but it does help. We call its um, property immunomodulator. So it's not boosting the immune system like crazy. If need be, it can boost it. But if need be to reduce it a little bit because there's some overreaction happening, then it does so. So it brings homeostasis, it brings balance to our immune system and to pretty much all the functions of our body. So this is sounds like magical, but in the meantime, it's quite simple. It's a soft action, but constant action. And the bees are actually betting on those properties of the propolis. That's why they harvest it. It's not food for them. They don't eat it. They just put it everywhere in the beehive. So it gives its active components in the air. So they breathe it in and it helps their body to withstand huge pressure, huge amounts of stress. So this is just amazing to see that. And then I'll give you another example. When there's a forest fire, you know, the bees, they react to smoke. That's why beekeepers often, they will smoke, they will put smoke in their beehive to calm them down. And why is that working so well? Because when bees are actually smelling smoke, they go in their hive, they fill their stomach with honey, and they fly out if things intensify. So their first reaction is to go down the beehive and, you know, eat a lot of honey. When there's a fire, because they keep that food in, in any given time, they can go in, fill their stomach, they're ready to be able to have nothing to eat for a long period of time, give maximum effort. They have that easy to assimilate food in their stomach. Honey is really easy and quickly assimilated. So they have energy, they don't have to eat right away, and it can give a lot of energy and work a lot to find a good, safe place again. So that's another type of thing that bees can survive. And all that, all those three situations, it's thanks to the honey they keep in, the bee pollen they keep in as um, bee bread, and also the propolis they gather to keep their immune system strong, solid, and balanced and for many different functions of their body. So that's amazing how bees can withstand stress. So how can we actually inspire ourselves on that model that the bees are giving to us? Well, we can do that on all different planes of who we are. On the physical level, of course, if we keep food, if there's emergency happening and food that will last for a really long time. And basically how the bees get that food is they go <clears throat> on the plants that in their surrounding, in their environment, and they actually exchange with those plants. And they don't kill them, they don't destroy them, not even a leaf. They, don't, they never destroy, instead they generate life. Because when they go get their nectar and pollen on the plants, even propolis, <clears throat> well, specifically nectar and pollen, they actually pollinate those plants. So they generate plants, they generate new life. Because once they pollinate those flowers, those flowers will turn into fruit and then seeds and then more life will grow. So this is amazing. They don't destroy life, they generate new life with plants. Even while they go and get their propolis, they don't destroy nothing. They just get that resin on the plant. They don't destroy even a leaf. It's just tiny pieces. They get tiny pieces of propolis, of plant resin, basically, and they bring it back, or exudate, and they bring it back to the beehive without destroying anything. So their model is very priceless, actually. It's very precious. It's never destroying and always generating new life. So while they do that, they can actually gather food. And when we think about gentle people, we know, yeah, they live with food. They are gentle. So they, they live with 
enough around them for them to they, they yeah they will go they will be able to survive for a long time because the good are good they keep food they, they are in that type of vibe but then not only that very often when we think about good people we think they don't have defense aggressive people will have defense will think that the bees will survive hard conditions because they have their stinger right and that bee venom and we think that's how they survive not at all if a bee would use its stinger against any type of mammals or human they will actually die their stinger their violence their aggressivity is not a source for them of sustainability in an individual way it's actually really dangerous for them because they will eventually die if they do sting and very often their predators won't react that much to stingers like a bear for example a bear can have many bees trying to sting it it has so much hair it's so big it will still destroy a hive or two or three or five or six we've seen that happening of course so their stinger is not their big defense their big defense is propolis of course the stinger will be useful against other bees and wasps and so on yeah it is useful i'm not saying it's not that's why it's there but their amazing defense to survive stressful moment is propolis and that propolis is given by the plants towards which they never destroy but they always generate life and they give them not only food but also protection through propolis that brings their own body their own health their own systems in their body in homeostasis and balance and equilibrium in a healthy state well, this is amazing so we can of course see that on a physical plane as we're just talking about but same goes for an emotional plane if we keep if we have good exchanges emotionally and mentally as well on different levels of our own beings well same thing if we always never destroy but always generate life always aim towards generating more life well then what happens there's good food we have plenty of food on those planes we're never short on food and we have to steal or we ha we, we 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 will want the food of others no 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 because we are in that state and so we have all this but also it creates some type of protection because there's ethic there and those exchanges will bring us that protection inside and it keeps us in a good state even though if we go through really stressful times so this is a model we can be inspired of and never think because it's for a mental emotional and physical plane never destroy but always generate life always be on that positive side and the bees show us how effective it is they're on earth since more than a hundred millions of years it's huge they are amazing so yeah just a few words to be inspired in those sometimes stressful times and for some people really stressful times um, so some inspiration from the bees of course it doesn't solve all the problems of our world our humanity but again it's a good inspiration to keep at least in our heart and our mind and if we can live following those principles as much as possible, well, chances are we'll be here for a really long time and very happy. Thank you so much for listening and see you another time for another AP Therapy video.